Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another Kendomic Food Adventure just for you and just for you. I am in the sunny but cold town of Bradford, Ontario, Canada at Harvey's because they've got a ghost pepper burger for a limited time only with jalapenos and stuff on it. It's called Smokin' Hot. Help stop the spread of COVID-19. Avoid local travel. Exceptions are groceries, prescriptions, and medical appointments. COVID-19 can be deadly. Stop the spread. Stay at home. Learn more at Ontario.ca slash coronavirus. Let's just grab that, eat it, and see if it's any good. We're up next. Seriously, guys, how many times do I have to tell you to shut the hell up when I'm at the drive through I want to order. I want to make this quick and painless. This should be simple. But you guys make it so complicated for me. It's all your fault. Just shut up and then I can order properly. Crispy jalapenos. Jalapeno. Aw, isn't that so adorable? The numbskull is sitting there whispering to himself as he reads out what's on the smoking hot offering. He, he, he doesn't seem to be able to read well enough to see that it says, For only one dollar, add to any burger or sandwich. Hmm, something tells me. If this is going to be a rather painful ordering experience that only can be found on KBD Productions TV. Because nobody else, like Ken Domic, can make ordering a burger like rocket science. Hi, Hi I'd love to try this uh, smoking hot uh, burger. So it begins. Hi, uh, yeah, I'd like to try this, uh, smoking hot burger. Um, yeah, what burger exactly, Ken? Because the sign says, get it, smoking hot, crispy jalapenos, jalapeno cheddar cheese. Make it even hotter with ghost pepper sauce for only one dollar. Add to any burger or sandwich. So, you should have been ordering a burger off their menu and then saying, yes, I'd like to make it smoking hot with blah, 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 blah. But no, that's way too difficult for Ken Domic to figure out because Ken has like a pea-sized brain, it seems. Honestly, I don't know how the Domic line has survived for as long as it has given how um mentally unstable and how oh uh, how do i put this delicate delicately how stupid they are it's a regular burger right yeah so you can actually get it uh on top of any Oh, okay. It's just the the smoking hot. It's just the sauce. It's jalapeno cheddar cheese and crispy jalapenos and goat's mayo if you want. Oh, okay. It's so sad that Ken actually needs an employee to explain what he should be able to read on the sign. Like. We've all seen how much trouble he has reading comments during his live streams. So this really begs the question, can Ken Domic actually read that well? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, based on all the evidence that he's showing. I don't think that he is a competent reader. Yeah, let's do uh, like a regular uh, Harvey's burger with uh, those three toppings. And then we'll add tomatoes, uh, onions, and lettuce with that as well, please. Sorry, was that the original or the Angus? Oh, let's go Angus for sure. Thanks for saying that. He had the camera 
disappointed at the Angus burgers. Yet he still orders whatever the hell a Harvey's burger is. I've never heard of a Harvey's burger. I mean, I'm aware of a Harvey's original hamburger. But based on how he had so much trouble ordering, I'm almost going to suspect that he's going to have so many other complaints. So Angus, you want the cheese, the jalapenos, the goat mayo with, so with onion, lettuce, tomato? That sounds perfect. Can you guys add bacon to that too? Yes. All right. Firstly, he didn't say please and thank you when he made that request. And secondly, yet again, Ken adding even more calories, more fat, and more sodium to this burger that's already going to be way over the caloric intake that he should have for one measly burger. Not to mention the salt is probably going to be close to the daily limit that he should be having. But no, Ken really seems to have it all figured out on how to go about losing weight. I mean, look at that neck. I mean, there's not really much of a neck because the chins have grown back in. Now the real question is because, as I've said, I watch through this for the first time as I react to it live. So, does Ken order fries or some sort of side? That's what I'm unsure of yet, but it would not surprise me. Now we're talking. Uh, no, I'm not going to do combo. I'm just going to do the burger. Thanks. Just yes, thanks. That's all. That's it. Thank you. Yeah, she like she said, you can add it to any burger. So I'm guessing you can add it to their chicken sandwich, their doubles, everything and anything. Does he still not comprehend? That this is not an actual product, but it's an add-on for any burger? It says, add it to any sandwich. How do you not get that, Ken? You had it explained to you multiple times. And you're still going on, hmm, I bet I could add this to their chicken sandwich or their doubles or blah, blah, blah. Anything, everything. Oh, moron, 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 idiot, idiot, idiot. God, even the scarecrow wasn't this frickin' stupid in The Wizard of Oz. I would not be just a nothing, my head all full of stuffin', my heart all full of pain. I would dance and be merry, life would be a ding a dairy if I only had a brain. Thank you. Thank you. All right, people, let's park it. All right, people, we're all parked. Let's go up the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, looking forward to this. Again, got another flyer in the mail showing that Harvey's has this new three toppings you can add to any burger. I didn't know that part about it, but I thought, it, I thought it, the whole thing was just a specific burger. And that's because you don't know how to read, Ken. That's what we are clearly finding out in this video. That Ken Domic cannot read very well. Once again, skipping over Ken, doing his close-up fresh test bullshit. Don't need to see that.
Wow. Mm -hmm. That hot sauce was the first thing. I thought I was going to get any hot sauce on the first bite. Nope. I got it on the first bite. Oh, that is really hot. Yikes, Harvey's. What have you done to my mouth? Harvey's? Harvey's? What have you done? What have you done, Harvey's? Harvey's. Harvey's, what have you done to my mouth? Oh, it's on fire. Oh, I can't take it. Oh, Harvey. Harvey. Oh. oh, my God. The fact that he actually said what he just said shows how much of an act this is. He's just doing it for the camera now. What a complete buffoon. Uh -oh. The nice crispy onions on there, giving a nice crunch. The jalapeno cheddar is a nice addition to it. And those crispy uh, jalapenos, I'm not sure I'm pretty sure it's the sauce is what's killing me here. It's a nice mayo. And that bacon, also the, the smokiness of the bacon is coming through with a with a nice kick to the taste buds. I'm glad I got the, the, the tomatoes. I almost feel like um, I'd like to add one more sauce because it's kind of a lot of stuff and not enough sauce. Uh, either that or ask them to put a little bit extra... Um, um, ghost pepper mayo on there it would increase obviously the the heat value but also give it a little more juice to it case in point on how we can tell that this is just an act he just spent a minute or so yakking away after taking a second bite saying that they should put more of that sauce on it even though that would knock up the spice level he didn't reach for his water, like he has in other videos, so yeah, it's not burning him as badly as he would make you believe, which really makes you wonder just how incredibly over the top that spicy Big Mary video was given the fact that he did it five years prior and had no issues. And then this time, he's putting thermometers up all over the screen and, like, volcanoes erupting or whatever it was. And, you know, yelling out, Mary, Mary, what have you done to me? What have you done to me? Oh, my God, my mouth is on fire. I'm going to die. But he still can't describe the food that he's eating. Ooh, big deal. The bacon added a smoky kick to the taste buds. Oh, you mean the taste buds that you made us seem to think were just obliterated by the ghost pepper sauce? Yeah, okay, Ken. Whatever you say, pal. I'm honestly surprised he didn't say that the tomatoes were tomatoey. Bypassing more of Ken's mindless eating and yakking away about nonsense just to pad the length of his video. The more I'm eating it, the more I'm thinking I wouldn't do anything to this. It's a great sandwich as it is. I just finished up at the dentist and I was hungry so I thought I'd come over here. It's uh, probably it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon but I was getting a little peckish. There's the doofuses uh excuse for why he was out filming this video because as we all know ken knows full well that he's breaking the law by going out and now he makes up all these excuses on why 
he's allowed to do this. Besides when he just says that, well, my videos are essential. And uh, remember that Harvey's is right beside my dentist. So I just, <laughs> the, the spice is starting to get to me. Just remember, every time Ken does that, it's what one would imagine Ken does when he jizzes in his pants, or he's dropping a deuce, or taking it in the ask him no more questions vicinity. Because as we all know, Ken likes to do his stupid, exaggerated nonsense he didn't do it at all drinking his brio in the previous video he he just pulls it out whenever he feels like he needs to make extra noise on camera sort of like the whole oh mary oh mary oh mary or in this case oh harvey oh harvey oh harvey i mean Maybe Ken should go visit Harvey Weinstein in prison. This is probably the hottest thing that Harvey's has ever come out with. So if you love Harvey's burgers and you love hot spicy things, you definitely got to try this. How hard is it for this moron to not realize that when he puts his hand up in front of his face to block the view of all the gnashed up, chewed up, regurgitated food in his mouth so that people don't have to see that when he's talking, don't move your freaking hand around, numbnuts. You didn't block your mouth at all during that entire sequence of you yakking. That's the only reason why you put it up near your fucking face, moron. But nope, Ken Domic, too stupid to read a sign, too stupid to hold his hand still, to block his mouthful of food, too stupid to be on YouTube. Get the bum off the platform. He doesn't deserve to be on here any longer. And I say that emphatically. He has lost every right to be on a platform when he goes around knowingly breaking laws or abusing systems. And I'm not even talking about the whole him going out and not staying home. I'm talking about the thing that he's been doing for over a year now, where he extorts personal information from people because they speak out against him in a constructively critical way. Fuck you, Ken Domic. And fuck you for thinking that you're gonna get away with it. Because guess what, pal? You're not. You're going to reap everything that you've sown. And then some. I promise you that. That's not a threat. That is a promise of what is about to come. Hopefully in 2021. If not, 2022. Depends on what the court system gives me as far as a date. Just so everybody's aware, my taking Ken to court is not strictly for me. It is so it puts an end to his ability to copyright strike people when he has no intent of ever following through on a lawsuit because he knows that no copyright infringement has taken place. He is not going to censor people. He is not going to shut up the people. Ken has met his match. 
and it's not going to end as well as he thinks that it will. And again, I got the flyer at home, and I forgot to bring it with me. But I bet I could have got some money off on this. No big deal. Wow, look at that real nickel and dimer. He has no problem going to fast food places and eating all this processed GMO growth hormone antibiotic bullshit uh, products that they put out that's full of sodium and fat and sugars and all sorts of other lovely things that are so great for the human body in in massive quantities like like you would find in fast food but yet the guy will go and spend six or eight dollars for a pound of grass-fed butter that's really no better off for him than normal butter uh again buying his uh, his, his salmon that's not farm-raised and buying organic this and organic that. Yeah, Ken, congratulations. That's like someone saying they're going to go on keto, but yet they're still going out and eating bread and that. Oh, wait, you said you were going to do that. Jeez, no wonder. Only an idiot would say something like that. Um... And I think if I read the, the menu thing right, it, it said for a dollar, you could add those three toppings, I think, to anything on the menu. Um, so let me know if you've tried different things. But again, their Angus patties are amazing. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. So my recommendation is Angus patty at the moment with all the hot stuff on it if they could put an extra dose of the uh, ghost pepper sauce put like put some ghost pepper um, mayo on the bottom bun and the top bun just to kind of bump up the juiciness level I put the, some of my pieces that oh almost went on the floor i like oh, i like the onion the onion is just nice and fresh and hot and just yummy expensive burger but totally worth it this is a 54 year old man who gets Super excited because he threw a piece of paper as he was turning his head to look where he was throwing. He didn't do it blindly. And it goes in a bag. And he's going to get super excited over something that was super pointless. <sighs> I I just don't even know what to say about Ken anymore sometimes because he's just, he's just too much, way too much sometimes. First shot, nice, way to go, two points for Ken. I think what I'm about to play next will put this all into perspective for you, Ken. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a nice, fast, easy video just for you and just for you. Like I said, this was a video that Ken did because one, he claims that he had a dentist appointment that he then got hungry afterwards so the funny thing is he screwed up his lie because he said that he got the flyer in the mail and forgot to bring it with him so he planned this out beforehand 
Congratulations, Ken. You incriminated yourself. <laughs> what an idiot. I mean, come on, Ken. We all know that this wasn't a spur-of-the-moment thing. This was so that he could get a video out under the pretense that he was going to a dentist or medical appointment just in case he got, you know, asked what he was doing. And then he also makes the claim that this was done for everybody else. No, it wasn't done for everybody else. It was done so Ken can, again, continue to make money on his channel. And so now he can write off the travel expense that he incurred to go to his dentist appointment. Because now he's going to make this a business expense or a business trip. You wait and see. So if you want something super spicy from Harvey's, head on over to Harvey's. Try uh, their smoking hot threesome on an Angus patty, an original patty, or one of their chicken burgers, whatever you like, give it a shot. My mouth is still on fire. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Either way, I don't give a damn what you think you are entitled to. Uh, it probably seems like it's gonna last for at least a half an hour to an hour. That's just the, the roof of my mouth is burning, my tongue is burning, and my lips are burning. Way to go, Harvey's, for coming out with something as hot as that. All right, guys, if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you. Once again, another pathetic video from KBD Productions TV run by the ever moronic the you know the, the the person that continues to surprise us at just how stupid he can be from video to video ken domic he claims that he went to the dentist maybe he did maybe he didn't he didn't need to go out and make another video. He just put one out on Saturday. So, of course, he has to put one out on, on, on Monday, like two days later, because, God forbid, Ken Domic doesn't put a video out on his channel so that he can make that sweet, sweet AdSense money that he craves. I really wish Ken would actually take a moment to realize that his actions have consequences. Just because he thinks that he's not, you know, spreading the virus or doing anything malicious, doesn't mean that gives him a green light to just go out and do whatever he pleases. He was asked for a month. And yes, now it was extended in some areas until later in February. But it's not like it was for the rest of his life. That's the thing that Ken doesn't seem to grasp. That the people that are constantly harping and bickering over the fact that my freedoms are being taken away from me because the government's telling me to stay home. I can't go out and get drunk or I can't go out and eat or I can't go out and party or I can't go out and do this. What's better? Would you rather the world as a whole tackles a deadly virus that is mutating as we speak? We are seeing new variants that are far more transmissible. That means that this virus is not just going to go away. If we were smarter about it, we wouldn't be dealing with it anymore. But people like Ken are the reason why we are going to see it for time to come. At any rate, I'm done with this video. I'm done with Ken for, for the time being. Uh, until his next bullshit video comes out. At any rate, this has been another Ken Domic Dissemination Expose. But until next time, KDDE out. Please stay safe, everybody. And if you can take a moment to like, subscribe, share the channel, 
We're trying to push to get those last couple hundred subs so that the channel can unlock the community tab features and a bunch of other things that would just make it so much easier for us to communicate and, you know, do what we do here. At any rate, I appreciate everybody who shows their love and support. Hit it with a thumbs up, ding, 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 ding. But if you're hungry for more, check out that playlist right down over there, and we'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.